life, Lord Bacon. I think times were tough in Lord Bacon's day. This is a dismal look at life in general. Life is here and gone, as if it never were, and during what is the short span of life in between, it is simply full of the trials and tribulations of mortality. But in the end, would we rather to have never been born or recognize that we are born to die? This is a look at life and the challenges it represents. Life. The world's a bubble and the life of man less than a span. In his conception wretched from the womb so to the tomb, cursed from the cradle and brought up to years with cares and fears, who then to frail mortality shall trust but lines the water or but rites and dust. Yet since with sorrow here we live oppressed, what life is best, courts are but only superficial schools to dandle fools. The rural parts are turned into a den of savage men, and where's a city from all vice so free, but may be termed the worst of all the three. Domestic cares afflict the husband's bed, or paints his head. Those that live single take it for a curse, or do things worse. Some would have children, those that have them moan, or wish them gone. What is it then to have or have no wife, but single thraldom or a double strife? Our own affections, still at home to please, is a disease. To cross the sea to any foreign soil, perils and toil, wars with their noise affright us. When they cease, we are worse in peace. What then remains but that we still should cry? not to be born or being born to die.